All right, so this is a, a real simple hitch called the clove hitch that we're going to use uh, over and over and over. So you can take your working end, you can throw it across the, the bar or the, the tree branch or whatever you're uh, attaching to. We'll do it horizontally, then we'll show you a vertical one. I come around, and with my free end, I'm going to cross over my standing end on the, the structure I'm hitching to. Okay, so it kind of makes that, uh, that X. I'm going to go around the object again. And then this time, my free end is going to go under itself, under the last turn that it just crossed. So you'll end up with this uh, parallel lines running, the standing end, and then the free end, and uh, a cr um, with a line crossing over the two. Once this is tightened down, this basic clove hitch will hold, its, uh, will hold itself pretty well without collapsing. Um, Again, it's not something you'd trust your life to, but it's great for starting on lashings and hitchings and things. Uh, it's a little slippery on this metal handle, but on a tree it'll hold really well. Now, if you were interested in um, a different version of this knot that really holds down so well, sometimes they have to cut it off uh, as the constrictor knot. So I'm going to start just like the clove hitch. I'm going to come around with my working end, cross my standing end. And this time when I come back around, instead of just tucking under the simple line cross to complete the clove hitch, I'm going to go over my standing end and then under that X. Just like that. Now, as I pull this line tight, it will, it's a friction hitch. It will pull down on itself. And now even on the metal, it won't slip or come free. Sometimes with natural cordage, hemp or jute, uh, or a larger rope, um, this constrictor knot will be so tight, it's almost impossible to come, uh, come free or untie. You just have to cut it. So, the clove hitch, very simple. I'm going to go, let's do a vertical one, see if we can see that. So, I'll go around my structure. I cross my standing line. I go around again. And this time, when I come back around, I go under the cross line. And then there's my vertical clove hitch. If I slide that up around, you see it's the exact same clove hitch as before. I just tied it in a vertical fashion around uh, a tree trunk or something. Use the clove hitch a lot when you're just looking to kind of finish off um, like your infinity coil or on a lashing real quick. So that's the clove hitch. And uh, check out some of our other videos and you'll see the clove hitch in use.